will be talking about the incident of Sungai King Kim Fox's evolution. This incident happened on the 7th March of 2019 at Sungai King Kim Pasir Gudang, Johor. It was caused by illegal dumping of chemical waste such as benzene, xylene, and methane, which leads to the release of toxic fumes into the air. As a result, many people, uh, mostly students by the way, have fallen ill as the affected victims were around 6,000 people and 2,775 victims were hospitalized, causing as much as 110 schools nearby to close temporarily. These chemicals disposalize many negative effects on the environment, among them order pollution, which occurs when the chemical compounds are volatile, produced by bacteria and the chemical waste. Bacteria in the small smelling gas molecules. Some of the seriously affected victims shared their experiences of being suddenly ill after inhaling an unpleasant odor in the school compound. The extreme pollution at the Kim Kim River also caused air poisoning. The spread of the toxic fumes was aided by hot weather and strong winds, which made more people sick. A number of students in the Pasigudang area began to complain of dizziness, nausea, and even experienced vomiting, which led to the temporary closure of some of the schools. The clean water supply at the surrounded areas were also affected due to the pollution of the Kim Kim River. In August 2019, residents in Acheswell village near the Daing and Kopo rivers, which are tributaries to Kim Kim River, complained that the water in both rivers have turned black and oily with an unbearable foul stench, which are believed to have spread from the chemical pollution of the Kim Kim River. A resident interview on the issue of the state, the river runs homes to various crabs, freshwater fish and shrimps, as well as children used to sing. But everything has been damaged since the pollution that was in April, which leads to the death of aquatic life. So in the current situation, the concept of conservation and preservation needs to be applied. One of the way to conserve Kim Kim River is by using Effective Microorganism. Effective Microorganism, EM, is a product that comes in liquid and solid form. It is consists of a variety of non aluminum beneficial microorganisms, but also non pathogenic ones with coexistence between aerobic and anaerobic or facultative types of microorganisms. EM works to prevent diseases by preventing the growth of pathogenic bacteria and increase the efficiency of organic matter intake. This effective microorganism consists of lactic acid bacteria, photosynthetic bacteria, and yeast. When these three bacteria are mixed with organic matter, beneficial compounds such as vitamins, hormones, enzymes, organic acid, minerals, and various antioxidant radicals. The end can prevent formation of chemical reaction of non beneficial bacteria that will have an increase in the environmental microbiology that leads to a healthy environment. EM will have numbers of applications including agriculture, cleanliness defense, algae control, household fixes, and in this case, bioremediation. Bioremediation is a process where biological organisms are used to remove or neutralize an environmental contaminant or waste. By using this process, it will stimulate the growth of specific microbes to use the discharged chemical contaminants as their source of food and energy. The toxic chemicals will be eliminated due to the change in composition into the harmless gases. Microorganisms such as algae, bacteria, fungi, and yeast could be used in this process. It's completely a natural process with almost no harmful side effects, with a quick turnaround time to make water useful. Once the river has been cleared of toxic waste, we must maintain it. One of the ways to do so is by applying drone technology. One of the aims behind using this technology is to improve the accuracy of water quality predictions, as well as reducing manpower needed to physically go out and collect samples. With the use of drones, more frequent water sampling can be done for early detection. This way, if anything unusual is detected in the water, the authorities can quickly find the solvent and avoid any casualties. In addition, the authorities must educate on better ways to dispose chemicals. The government must take action in providing better ways for companies to get rid of the chemical waste created. Going on, all companies that produce toxic waste must be properly educated on how to treat their waste responsibly and ethically in order to protect our rivers. Campaigns could also be held through social media and radio broadcasts to provide more information on how to protect our rivers.